It's Friday, January 20th, 2017. This is Life Words Day by Day. Glad you joined us today. Thanks for being here. Let me offer you a life word for today. In Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 8, Paul gives us this advice. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross." It's a big day for America. We get to inaugurate a new president today. And no matter where you fall on the political spectrum, you got to admit that Inauguration Day, a day when we peaceably transfer power from one president to another, that's a very special thing. It's, it, it doesn't happen everywhere else in the world. And it's a special day for our president, too. One thing about our new president, you know, that you got to admit He does not lack for confidence. As a matter of fact, neither does our outgoing president. I guess that just kind of goes with the territory, right? Most of us would not equate humility with that kind of leadership or special ability. Look at most of the people that we admire in this country, whether they're actors or athletes or politicians. If they're in the public eye, most of them got a lot of swag or they're a diva. But the greatest man who ever lived, the one who could perform miracles, the one who was not created, but who himself created all things, the one who had all power, though he was God, he didn't think that equality with God was something to cling to. So he humbled himself in obedience to his God, and he died a criminal's death on a cross. He gave up his divine privileges and he took upon himself the humble position of a slave. That's what Jesus did. And that's the kind of lifestyle that Paul was teaching the people in Philippi to emulate. That's the kind of life that pleases God. God's not really into people with swag or even divas. God's looking for servants. Be the kind of person that God's looking for. Sunday, February 26th is going to be a great day. Churches all across the world will celebrate World Missions Day. So let me introduce you today a BMA missionary. His name is Phil Kakilala. Kamusta? We are the Kakilala family. My name is Phil. This is my wife, Lisa, and our youngest daughter, Justine. We are the latest missionaries to come to the Philippines and will live on the island of Panay. We cannot do this ministry without your help. We appreciate your prayers that God might continue to touch lives for salvation of souls, our discipleship of new believers, and training church leaders beginning with children. May God continue to bless and open doors of ministry for us here in Asia Pacific. Also pray for our children's ministry that God will raise the next generation of God-fearing people to make an impact for Christ. Also pray for our health, especially from uh, insect-borne diseases that are prevalent in our area. Also join us in praising the Lord that He is faithful who promises that He will never leave us nor forsake us. We also praise Him that we have a powerful message. When fear comes to make me shy away from the message, help us to remember that God has the gospel of Christ, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Also, let's be encouraged that our labor in the Lord will not be in vain, that there will be a harvest here in Asia Pacific. Last but not the least, thank you for prayers and for your support for us here in Asia Pacific. Thank you. When you think of it, pray for Phil and his family. And, And pray now about giving a generous offering to the BMA World Missions Fund on February 26th. And listen, pray for Life Words Brazilian Portuguese broadcast too. That can be heard in the country of Brazil. 
From the Life Word team worldwide, broadcasting in 40 languages to 121 countries and to a potential listening audience of 2 billion people, we pray that you'll walk with Jesus day by day.